Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the RTS Cast and Stuff channel, and welcome to the end of the week. It is Friday, it is the weekend, you can all relax. Or, oh, most of you, I'm sure. Today, we're taking a preview look at the big split. Yes, that's the split of the Berliner Gruppe Rung into, well, the Berliner Gruppe Rung, what's left of it, and the new Six Guards Motor Rifle Division. What we're going through today is a work in progress build, that means that there could be some changes before it is released to the public. I don't expect there to be changes to the unit composition, but there could be changes to pricing and things like that, so I'm just making you aware it might not be completely final. With that said, let's go through, starting with the Berliner Group Hero itself, or what is left of it. I'll talk about what has been removed as we go through each tab, and in my editing I will try and stick up some little images of what's been removed as well. So, first up in Logistics tab, we now have the MTLB munitions, the URAL, 4320 munitions, the T813 munitions, the MI8 T munitions, and the Feld Depot for supply. Changes here are the Ural was formerly a Soviet unit or Russian unit and it is now a German unit. They just put a different flag on it. And they have removed the MI26, so the big supply. The MI-26 is gone. So obviously the Berlin and Gruppe Rung were quite a supportive uh, division at times. You could use them with a lot of artillery support. That's maybe not the case as much anymore, and therefore they have lost the MI-26. So, a bit of a shame, but that is one of the things they've lost. For the commands, they keep a UAZ Jeep, which is replacing the Belazor, which is the old command jeep, which was a Russian one. They lose the MI-9 helicopter command, and they lose the BMP-1K SP-2 command, because that was an armoured vehicle, a BMP, and they've lost all of those from this division. What they get is the same SBW-40 P2K, and they also get the BTR-60PU. This is to replace the BTR-50, which was a tracked vehicle, and this obviously is a wheeled variant. So, a few losses there. Nothing massively significant, perhaps, except for the MI-26 and its massive supply pool. Okay, so on to the infantry. This is a hell of a tab, okay? This is all over the place. So they've moved stuff around, which makes it even more difficult. Because obviously I'm looking at the old one in my screenshots and trying to compare it to the new one. They've moved things around. I would just read it off their patch notes, but they miss things off their patch notes sometimes. So I'd rather go with what's actually in the game. Uh, first thing to mention is they've lost all forward deployment. All the forward deployment is gone. So they have no forward deployment in this division anymore. So they previously had a forward deployment 7.62 machine gun team, an SPG-9 and an ATGM. That is all gone. They've also lost the Commandatura. They've lost the Vopos, the Vopos Commander. They've lost all of the Modestralki. They've lost the Panzer Jaeger squad, which has been replaced with another similar squad. They've also lost the Sapri squads and the Sapri Commander and the Pulmachiki. All of that's gone, okay? So, they are left with two machine gun squads, the 7.62 and the 12.7. They have lost, for some reason, the 30mm grenade launcher. I have no idea why, but that is gone. Uh, the Militar Streifen, they keep, because they were East German anyway. They've got the Pioneer squads, which are now up here. They were further down before. The Wachsuchen is still there. They've got a commander. They have a standard infantry squad now with an RPG. And the one that was formerly named that is now an RPO specific squad by name. They have the KDA commander and the KDA standard squads. No change there. They have the Mottschutzen Führer which was in there before. They now have a Strela variant, so one that has the Strela as well. They have an SVD variant, so one with a sniper rifle. 
They have the BTR, which was there before. They have the SMG team, which was there before, but in a different place. And they now have a Metis squad as well. So one of these squads with a Metis launcher. So a few changes. They also have a standard SPG-9 now. They have two sets of ATGMs. They have the UAZ SPG-9 still. That is the same. And they now have this Vact Panzerjäger. I'm not sure why they changed the name of that. I'm not sure why it's not still just Panzerjäger, but it is now Vact Panzerjäger. So there you go. So they lost quite a lot from the infantry tab. Um, obviously losing all the BMPs therein as well. So they lost quite a bit of firepower. They've still got plenty in there, but it took away a lot of options. The other thing they lost that was right at the bottom before I forget was they also lost the Falschirm Jäger team. So the Falschirm Jäger Commander, the Falschirm Jäger, and the Falschirm Jäger Metis. All of that is gone. So, as I say, all forward deployment. Bye-bye. Let's move on to artillery. So, a few changes in artillery. They've lost... Well, let's see what they've lost first. They've lost all the Russian stuff. So they've lost the Russian 120mm mortars. They lost the big stuff at the bottom end. So the Uragan and the Buratino. They've gone. And they're just left with the MFRW RM70 for the rocket stuff. In this row, they lost the ZIS-3 76.2mm. They keep the D-30... They gain a German D-20 because they previously had a Russian D-20. And they keep the M4630 millimeter, And then they get these rebranded. So previously they had a Russian 2S1 and an East German 2S3. But they've rebranded them as these SFL-H variants of the same thing. But... You know, it is what it is, isn't it? Oh, well. Anyhow, so that's the artillery tab. Just a few losses here, I guess, but... So tank tab is, again, one with a few changes. So they keep the pack guns, they keep the T-34, they keep the standard T-55AK and the T-55A, and they gain the flame tank, the T-55, T-055 even. They, however, lose the BRDM-2 Conkers, the T-55AM-2 K-3, the T-55AM-2, the T-64BV, the T-64BVK, and the T-80B. So they've lost a lot of firepower in this tab. Next up is Recon. So Recon, they keep the Mock Grenzer, the Grenzer, and the Grenzer Flam. They now get the KDA Alf Clara and some Alf Clara still. So that's to replace, I think, the fact they've removed some other bits and pieces. Obviously, there's no forward deployment recon anymore. They keep the SPW and the BRM-1. They lose the Motoraz Vedka, obviously, and the Falschrim Scharfschutzer. And they have now gained the Vact Alf Clara. So these are a new squad. Special forces, yada, yada, yada. So decent squad. Small size. Bit of firepower behind them. I guess that's to sit in the place of the Motraz Vedka more than anything else. Anti-air tab is painful. I don't think there's any getting around this. The uh, the AA tab is painful. So, they lose the forward deployment Strella. They gain the ZPU-4, which is another anti-air gun, but obviously nowhere near as good as the uh, ZU-23. But it, it's there, and it's very cheap. They keep the standard Strela, but obviously, as I say, lose the forward deployment Strela. They lose the Igla. They keep the Shilka. They keep the Cub, but they lose the Biriusa. They lose the Strela 10M for some reason, even though the Strela was an East German unit. And they lose the Buck. 
So again, one of their big things was that they were good for support because they had the anti-air stuff and, well, they've lost the majority of that now, to be honest. At least they've still got the cub, but it is a shame they lost the book. They've lost some of that capability. Helicopters, well, nothing to write home here. They keep most of the stuff they had. They just lose the MI-24VP because that was Russian. And then the air tab is again one where they've juggled things around a bit. So the bottom half here is the same. So the SU-22s are all the same. No changes there. What does change is the top half. So they lose the MiG-21 BIS HG bomber. They lose the MiG-23 anti-air and the SU-17 rocket. They gain the L-39ZO cluster, which has some cluster bombs and some standard bombs, weirdly. They gain the same jet with rockets and HE bombs. They get the MiG-21 anti-air 2 and the MiG-21 anti-air 3. Um, nothing we need to write home about here. These are very short range, obviously. Nothing, nothing really to say other than that, I guess. And they get the MiG-21 BIS Napalm Bomber. Which, again, weirdly has a couple of normal bombs on it, not just Napalm. So that's a bit different. And that is it. That's the big split for the Berliner Group Eurong. They've lost a lot of stuff. And it leaves me with the question of what do they do better now than someone else? The reality is they don't do anything special and what they do do could the fourth now just simply do better than they can i leave that up to some debate in the comments what do you guys think do you think that still a good division from what's in there that you can see just now or do you think that they're lacking a bit too much now without any major strengths i suppose the infantry tab could be called the strength still it's still got plenty in there but everywhere else just feels kind of lacking. And obviously the aircraft is terrible. You can't even have them really as a support team anymore because of the lack of AA and obviously the reduction in artillery. But it is what it is. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let's have a look at the other new division, the 6 Motor Rifle Division. Okay, so this one's a bit faster to go through, isn't it? The 6th Motor Rifle Division. So... They get quite a bit of decent stuff, to be honest. So you've got the Ural. You've got another new, bigger supply truck. 2,500 in there. You've got the RKHM command vehicle. The BMP-1K3. You've got the MI-9 in there. And you've got the UAZ command. Obviously, there's some East German stuff in here as well. That was removed from Berliner Group Eurung. The MI-26 is in here. And they obviously still get the... Fell Depot, which has just got a different name. Infantry tab. PKM 762, nothing to write home about. Commander Tura in there. The Vopos have moved into there. The Motostrolki Commander, the Motostrolki BMP, which gets access to the 1P and the 1PG. Sapri Commander with the Sapri and the Sapri RPO. Mott Schutzen Commander and Mott Schutzen. And then the ATGM there, the Pulmachiki have moved over here. They've got some new units, the Luftstrom Jäger. Or Luftstrom Jäger. They get a Metis, a standard squad and a command. And they also have Conkers down at the bottom there. I'm not sure why they're off on their own and not with the other ATGM. In the artillery tab. They get that 120mm mortar that was removed from Berliner Group Eurong. They get the ZIS-3 76.2mm for some reason. They've got the D-20 cannon. They've got the 2S-1. They gain the Uragan. And they've got this. So, this is the 2S-5. And the big change here, I think, is that it is now guided indirect. And fires pretty darn fast. So, this is quite a nasty piece of kit. And be on the lookout, the French have also given themselves guided artillery. Shock horror. Tank tab. So, the ZIS, 57mm in there. The BRDM-2 Conkers. 
They still get the T-55As. The Rapira is in there. T-64B, which we haven't seen for quite a while. T-64BV is moved over here. The T-80B is over here. And the T-64BVK. Then over in the Recon tab, we've got the BRDM-2 Recon. We've got an MI-2 US Adder. Just a little dinky Recon helicopter with a couple of machine guns on it. Razvedka are over here. The BRM-1 with exceptional optics. The Mod Alf Clara. And the Spetsgruppe A. Which are all in some fancy clothing. And you have to tell me, if you can figure it out... Who they all are. Or who they're dressed after. I'll leave that to you. It's very 80s, so the younger people might not get any of them. Over here, on AA tab, we've got the ZPU-4. That weird little one again. I mean, it's very intricate in its detail, but... Uh, yeah. We've got the Igla, the Tunguska, and the Buck. Lucky so-and-sos. Helicopter tab, the MI-2 URN. Funny little chopper. The MI-8 Rocket 2. And the MI-8 MT Escortney. It can take people in it. It's got seats. It's also got a lot of weapons. And then in the air tab, seeing some more of these. L-39 ZOs, the Napalm, the HE-1. Got the MiG-21 BIS anti-air in there. MiG-21 Rocket. MiG-21 Rocket 2. MiG-21 Cluster. And the MiG-31 BAA. With a 12k range missile. Four of them, no less. Now, they may not have as much firepower in the air here. But the MiG-31 is obviously very nice. Helicopter tab. Nothing special. Anti-air, they've got the book and they've got Iglas, which is probably the most important things there. The Tunguska is great to have in there as well. Surprised they didn't end up with the Strela 10M. I don't know what's happened to that from those two divisions. Uh, Recon is fine. Obviously, they've got the special new squad, which it's one of these uh, in-disguise ones, by the way. False flag trait. So it shouldn't get targeted as easily. Obviously, the tank tab's pretty good. Uh, artillery is not bad, especially with this thing that has guided rounds, which is crazy. And then the infantry tower is pretty good. Good mix there. We've got Metis in there and everything. Plenty of ATGMs. And logistics not bad either. I think this is a pretty decent division. Would I take this over the Berliner Group Erung? Probably. I probably would take this over the Berliner Group Erung now. I think it's just got a lot more to it. And to be fair, I do love the T-64s. So. But there you go. A preview of those two new divisions. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And hopefully it will be in your hands. Assuming no major issues. Sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday night. And I'll see you all soon.